Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau weighing in on President Trump's new trade tariff move. Let's listen. Canadian and du Canada. Le ministre, la ministre Freeland est ici pour annoncer nos mesures. Is here to outline our retaliatory measures. This morning, I called the leaders of the opposition to let them know what our response would be. In closing, I want to be very clear on one point. Americans remain our partners, our allies, and our friends. The American people is not the target of today's announcement. We hope that eventually common sense will triumph. Unfortunately, the actions taken today by the American government do not seem to be headed in that direction. I want to be very clear about one thing. Americans remain our partners, our allies, and our friends. This is not about the American people. We have to believe that at some point, common sense will prevail. But we see no sign of that in this action today by the U.S. administration. Thank you, Prime Minister. As the Prime Minister has said, these tariffs are totally unacceptable. En réponse à ces mesures, le Canada... In response to these measures, Canada plans to impose surtaxes or other similar measures in order to limit trade on steel imports, aluminum imports, and other products from the U.S. in the amount up to $6.6 .6 billion. That amount represents the total Canadian exports in 2017 of steel and aluminum to the U.S. Those, ex those exports that are now being targeted by the American tariffs. Tariffs. Today, we are publishing two lists of products that are subject to these measures. On the first list, products will be subjected to a 25% 25 25 surtax, whereas a similar uh, measure to limit trade. The products on the second list will be subject to a 10% surtax. A similar measure, a similar trade limiting measure. These countermeasures will only apply to U.S. products. These countermeasures will take effect on July 1, 2018, and will remain in force until the United States eliminate their own tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum products. Our steel and aluminum workers have our support which is why we have included American steel and aluminum products on our lists. As for the other products enumerated today, we ensured that they can easily be obtained by uh, American companies or, and our non-American trade partners to avoid costs being uh, affecting Canadian families and consumers. Today, we will begin a consultation period that will last 15 days. We will be consulting Canadians so that they can express their support or their concerns about the proposed countermeasures as well as the list of products. The list of products will be made public immediately and will be posted online for all Canadians to see. This uni these unilateral measures by the U.S. are also in breach of na the NAFTA uh, rules, as well as WTO rules. Canada will be launching a conflict resolution, uh, dispute revolution, uh, and accor uh, under, uh, according to WTO rules. The uh, can can Canada is going to collaborate with the WTO and our other partners, including the European Union, to challenge these illegal and counterproductive American measures. 
before the WTO. It is completely inappropriate to consider any trade with Canada as a threat to the United States national security. I want Canadians to know that their government will always defend Canadian workers and Canadian businesses. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm going to say it in English now. We are a bilingual country. Uh, in response to these measures, Canada intends to impose tariffs against imports of steel, aluminum, and other products from the United States, representing the total value of 2017 Canadian exports affected by the U.S. measures. That is $16.6 .6 billion. We are imposing dollar-for-dollar -dollar tariffs for every dollar levied against Canadians by the U.S. 25% and 10% are the tariff rates today imposed by the United States on Canada. We are today publishing two lists of goods. One list which will be subject to a 25% tariff. The second list will be subject to a 10% tariff. These countermeasures will only apply to goods originating from the United States. These countermeasures will take effect on July 1st, 2018. They will remain in place until the United States eliminates its trade restrictive measures against Canada. Our steel and aluminum workers have our government's full support. We are witnessing an extraordinary moment. You're hearing from the Foreign Minister of Canada, the Prime Minister of Canada, the, our second biggest trading partner and one of our closest allies, announcing retaliatory tariffs against the United States on steel and aluminum in response to what we got from President Trump and his administration this morning, imposing tariffs on Canada, Mexico, and the EU for steel and aluminum imports. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.